Hello. Um, this is a quick and short video to show you how you can access uh, voicemails remotely on the Grandstream UCM. In fact, the UCM doesn't have a specific feature to serve that purpose, but there is a workaround that might be helpful. Actually, there are two ways to do it. First of all, let's start with how you can do it if you have, uh, let's say, an IVR as the default destination of your incoming calls. So let's suppose this is the IVR that you have configured as the main IVR. That means when people, they call the number, the calls go to the IVR. <clears throat> so you have different options here. Uh, to allow users to access voicemails remotely, you can choose one of those key pressing events. For example, I'm going to choose mine. Then we'll choose the mode external number. And the value that you're going to put is the feature code for the voicemail, which is star 98. So when users, they want to access their voicemails, they need to call the main number. The main number, of course, will be defaulted to the IVR. And then from the IVR, they can just simply press 9. So when they press 9, the UCM is going to dial star 98. Then it's going to prompt them to uh, enter the extension plus the password, uh, the voicemail password for that specific extension. So this is one way of doing, doing it. <clears throat> the second way is through the voicemail. This is in case you, you're not using the IVR and the call, for example, goes uh, to an extension if that extension doesn't pick up the call you want it to go to the, it goes straight to the voicemail, you can actually configure that option. But before we do that, the first thing that you need to do, you need to create a dummy extension. Let's say, for example, we're gonna use uh, extension 1003 as the dummy extension. Uh, so we're gonna create the extension, then we're gonna go to uh, features, call forward and conditional, then we can enter star 98 and then save. So after we do that, <coughs> we're gonna go to voicemail. Then we can enable that feature, which is dial zero for operator. The purpose of that feature, when you call uh, an extension and then you hit the voicemail, just by pressing zero, the UCM instead of letting you complete uh, the uh, letting the, the voicemail complete and so you can leave a voicemail it's going to ring whatever extension you have configured so for our case we use an extension 1003 that is configured with unconditional call forwarding to star 98 which is uh, which is going to dial the feature code for voicemail <coughs> So once you call, you hit the voicemail, press uh, the voicemail greeting while you listen to it, press zero. Then the UCM is going to dial this extension, which is already configured with star 98. Then you're going to hit the, 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 the voicemail prompt asking you to enter the extension and then the voicemail password. So these are the two ways to access voicemail uh, remotely. And I hope this uh, was helpful and this is going to help for, be helpful to you so your users can access voicemails remotely from the Grandstream UCM. Thank you.